Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the San Diego Storm, my GM. Last episode, we faced the Seattle Supersonics in our first rivalry game, and were able to pretty much blow them out. I mean, they shot horribly from the field. Luka Doncic put up an amazing performance. Joe Harris chipped in as well, Jordan Bell, Clint Capella, and the rest, but uh, Josh Hart. Josh Hart is definitely the main culprit that we had to look out for. I looked at your comments below, and uh, it made a lot of sense to me that we were going to switch out Josh Hart and Luka Doncic. Doncic is the pure point guard, uh, and also I'm going to move Justin Jackson out, and I'm going to move probably Joe Harris in, just because he's been such a good knockdown shooter for us. So I want to get him some more minutes as well. So, Luka Doncic in the point guard, hopefully that will uh, increase Josh Hart's production a bit now that he's not the main ball handler, so I'm hoping that can adjust his stats as well. Uh, but looking at the NBA overall right now in the power rankings, Seattle is still number 7. This is not updated, so we'll see once we're 9-9 nine and nine how that updates. Looking at the conference standings, oh, of course, Golden State number one at 14 and five. San Antonio and OKC are tied at 12 and four. Seattle at 11 and six is the fifth seed right now. And we are all the way back, I believe they're the, so that'll be four. Yeah, we are the ninth seed currently. Philadelphia is 14 and four. Boston surprisingly is only 10 and eight. I thought they'd be doing a bit better. Trevor Booker? Is someone still injured for Boston? But either way, uh, and looking at the stats, our player stats, Luca, of course, having a breakout season this first year, 23, six and seven. Josh Hart with 21, four and three. Clint Capello with the double-double, Jordan Bell. Just overall, very, very happy with how we're doing so far. So today, we're actually going to simulate a bit. We're probably going to go up against the OKC Thunder at OKC, so we're going to simulate a solid month, possibly a month and a couple games, uh, but we're going to see what we can do. Uh, also, I forgot to look at the trades. Let me look at the transaction report, any trades that have gone down. So that's how the Supersonics got Michael Kidd Gilchrist. They traded JR for them. Uh, Terrence Ross for Langston Galloway, Patrick Harrison for Alan Williams, and then we got rid of these guys and got Kyle O'Quinn. Uh, any signings? Kawhi Leonard still on the Spurs in this for some reason. Uh, besides that, not much to report. No major re-signings. But yeah, let's go ahead and simulate a couple games. I'll bring you guys back and make any updates that we need to. So guys, uh, 14 and 12 after this stretch. We had some good wins and some good losses. Uh, I'd like to see a little more improvement on the jump shooting. But overall, we, we've done pretty decently in our last five or eight games. Uh, Isaiah Thomas now on the Phoenix Suns. They finally got a good point guard. Uh, but let's go over these. First of all, we beat the Nets. Josh Hart with 33 points in this one. Luka with a near triple-double. Clint Capella with a double-double as well. Lost to Philadelphia, Grayson Allen with 24 points. And B with the double-double. Luka did good, but Josh Hart seems to be struggling from the three-point field especially. We lost against Phoenix, which I was very surprised about. Uh, Luka really struggled from the field. 0 of 5 from three-point land. We lost against Boston. Again, the shooting. Josh Hart, 3 of 15 from the field that cannot happen we were able to take care of the indiana pacers though josh hart had a bounce back game good shooting overall clint capella absolutely killing it for us he went 11 of 12 from the field picked up the win against portland josh hart another bounce back game luka Doncic really struggled in this but clint capella was able to put up some good numbers and we were able to get the two point win against this really good Portland Trail Blazers team. Clint Capella with seven offensive rebounds. Pretty good game. DeMarcus Cousins is on the Lakers, which uh, I guess makes up for them not having LeBron. But Josh Hart, solid shooting performance. Uh, Luka struggling a little bit, but as long as we're winning these games, I really do not care at all. DeMarcus Cousins, 
on the Lakers. <laughs> anyway, uh, going up against the Heat, Clint Capella dominated. Even going up against Hassan Whiteside, uh, or excuse me, not Hassan Whiteside, but Kelly Olenek, I guess, would be the next center. Joe Harris, uh, subpar shooting all around. I do want to look at possibly uh, signing a free agent. I know we do have a couple injuries. Clint Capella, though, absolutely killing it for us right now. He's an 85 overall, but he is still just dominating the offensive and defensive boards. Uh, Luca's doing pretty well. He, the shooting struggles are going on a little bit, but besides that, no one's doing well. It's salty. We're gonna have to. We may have to talk to him. Can I have a pep talk with him? Just, I don't understand why his morale's so low. I mean, we have a dominant center, so I don't understand why he thinks he would be getting starting minutes. Um, let's actually talk to him. Let's give him a pep talk and see if we can resolve this issue. Okay, um, let's let's uh, light a spark. Yeah, let's light a spark. Let's bring his morale back up to a 75, and that should give us uh, some okay stuff for the future. Okay, so looking at this, the morale's doing pretty good. We're currently six and a half games back of the Warriors, who are 20 and five. The Thunder, and then the Nuggets are doing really good as well. They're 19 and six, absolutely killing it in the Western Conference. I'm surprised to see the Rockets down there. And I was really surprised to see how well that the Supersonics are doing. I mean, their roster is not anything good. Whiteside is good. Jaron Jackson is gonna be really good. But besides that, I think we have the better team than them. We have a better overall team with Jordan Bell and Josh Hart. But uh, who knows, to be honest with you. Uh, contract extensions, we can't do anything, but I am looking at possibly signing Rajon Rondo to our backup point guard position. We're really in need of one of those. Corey Joseph's injured for four to six weeks, and I don't think that Frank Jackson is going to cut it as our backup point guard. So, yeah, we're going to have to let go of Frank Jackson here. Go ahead and release him. Uh, we also have Chandler Hutchinson, though, but he's in the G League. Let's release Frank Jackson, and we can go in and sign Rajon Rondo. So I'm pretty sure we'll just we'll just give him a one-year deal. Begin negotiation. Yeah, a one-year, seven million dollar deal. Let's actually bump him up. Yeah, let's give him like six and point two. That should be good. And uh, we can get Rondo as our backup point guard. I've actually been thinking about moving Josh Hart back to six man which I'm really thinking of doing now. Corey Joseph's injured. Let's get Ron Baker out of there and move Rondo into our six-man spot. Um, oh, wait a minute. Well, should I move Josh Hart back? Let's just get these minutes away from these backups and I'll get, uh, bump some into Rondo's spot. So we'll lower all the starters by one. Yeah, and that'll be good. That'll give him a solid 20, 24 minutes a game. And we can even move him into the starting role if we need to. Um, should I? Justin Jackson's getting minutes. Yeah, that should be good for now. Uh, if anything, we can go back and adjust it. But let's take a look at what's going on here. Uh, Luka Doncic, Shaw's heart. I do want to change this just because our shooting has been so bad, but I'm not sure what to change it to yet. All right, let's simulate against the Hawks and see how we do. Okay, oh, ooh, okay, a 15-point win, I'll take it. And going up against Golden State, this is probably a fat L. Yeah, it's not a bad loss, but still, it's a loss. And against Toronto. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, oh, Chaz has some stuff on the prospects for this year's draft. Let's take a look at what he's got. Okay, I... I do want a boat gate. Head down the banana boat. Are you, what is? Petrovich, Staples, and Baldwin all went on a banana boat and kayaking in the middle of a creek. It ended their, what? Are you kidding me, 2K? The, a banana boat incident ended Jackson Baldwin, Freddie Staple, and Mirko Petrovic's careers. Are you joking? 
This is the best that 2K could come up with, is that they had a banana boat incident. I don't know what to say anymore. I, I mean, all right, 2K, you gotta come up with a better storyline than that. They fell off of a kayak in a creek and it ended their careers. What happened? Did they like get sucked into the vortex or something? Oh my god. Okay, I, I need to move past this. I wanna be involved in every step of the scouting. I wanna know who I'm drafting, just like anyone else would. I trust Chaz, but I wanna be the one to make the decision. Okay, so against Toronto, ooh, we pick up the close win against Toronto. Uh, looking back, Atlanta, Dennis Schroeder, Josh Hart. Uh, the shooting is still not where it needs to be. Jordan Bell with 29 and 11. Wow, Clay and Curry killed us. Able to beat DeMar DeRozan and the Raptors, Josh Hart. Uh, Luka struggling. I, I'm really thinking about changing it up. We lose to the Rockets. Joe Harris went off. Okay, and the Nuggets were also a very good team. We lose to them as well. Oh my gosh, three of 13? And how about is our shooting? Six of 17? Yeah, I'm, I, I think I wanna change something. I don't know if I want to change the game plan or I could move Rondo into the starting spot. That could work. Corey Joseph's still injured. So maybe I can, well, let's take a look at how they're playing. I mean, the shooting percentages, just look at them. They're horrible. 40%, 37% Royce O'Neal. Rondo's averaging four and six off the bench. I think I may actually want to move him into the starting lineup. Let's go back to play through star and let's go back to shoot at will. Everything else should be good. Hopefully this adjusts our offense to where we can uh, improve our shot percentage a little bit. Let's increase bench utilization as well. All right, going up against the Clippers. Okay, what, what do we have here? Okay, here's Chaz with all the stuff. Freddie Galtieri, Prince Patterson. There looks like a lot of good prospects, to be honest with you. I mean, oh, of course there's Kavanaugh. Uh, Leonard Cummings, Kozlov, 7'1 wingspan for a shooting guard? That is insane. We got Leonard Cummings, Kyle Kavanaugh. Looks like, oh, he looks like sort of like a 3 and D player. That could be pretty good for us. It looks like a pretty deep draft. I wish there was some more variety in the top players. Uh, but we do have some small and power forwards available. Uh, Prince Patterson, Stan Finley, Austin Peterson. This this draft is pretty deep. I, I may think about getting another pick. But let's go ahead and select our prospects. We have these guys 100% done. So we'll just move on to uh, whatever players we can choose next. Is this all eight players we can do? There we go. Well, this is my favorite GM in the whole world. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm going to ignore the Texas puns in this whatsoever. 18 and 16. I know um, I'm actually sort of concerned about what that means. We are an expansion team after all. I mean, this is literally our first season in the league. We don't have a bona fide star. We have Doncic, we have Josh Hart, and we have Capella but we don't really know who the main player on our team is. Okay, yeah, I, I know it's different from a business perspective, but I'm looking at the basketball side of this. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Al Wheeler, taking a look at the staff menu. Our staff is pretty good from what I remember, except I should have fired our dang trainer, Lenny, because I fa Thank you in the comments below letting me know that I fired the wrong person. So uh, now the Snake Lenny Ayers is still on our team. But he is uh, pretty much the best trainer you can get. Same with Chaz Spencer. Okay, Toronto. We're able to pick up another win, surprisingly. But, oh, Josh Hart. Okay, I'm going to have the coach handle it. And then I'm probably just going to go in and adjust it myself. Okay, so let's see how this lineup goes, actually. We'll move Rondo into the starting point guard role. 
and that will allow Luka Doncic to play off the ball a little bit. Um, Josh, so Josh Hart's day to day with a sore right foot, so he'll be back in a week probably. Corey Joseph still out two to four weeks, uh, but honestly after that I may end up trading Corey Joseph and keeping Rondo. Okay, so uh, reach level 12, I'm always, I think I'm going to go with whatever raises our players' stats the most. At least that's what I'm going to do with probably the first 20 levels I get. Because if you really ramp up like all the awareness boosts, you can really get it going. Rondo with 14 assists, we're able to knock off the Atlanta Hawks. Okay, now going up against the Wizards. Man, Washington's always mediocre. All right, Chaz, let's see what Chaz has. <laughs> Plus 10 Ryan bonus. Okay, so it looks like he has a bunch of different players that he's looking at. Uh, four sleepers, the four sleepers, and the four best overall players. So let's just go through them all. Jaron Woodley, freshman at Duke, back to the basket center. Um, almost seems like a DeAndre Ayton type, where he's a very, very good offensive player. Prince Patterson, UCLA 6-7 playmaker, um, lateral quickness on defense. Uh, I could see Shea Gildas Alexander possibly. Kavanaugh, 3 and D. Possibly a lower level Clay Thompson. He's long, he's, uh, he's very tall for our guard. So uh, we could slide him in at a 3 and D small forward or shooting guard to be honest with you. Possibly even power forward if it, if it comes to that. Uh, pretty good outside shooter, so he can knock down shots. That'll be helpful. Looks like a solid, solid prospect. Uh, Joey Galtieri, six foot two point guard with deep range dribble. Again, can dribble. Average athleticism. Okay, that reminds me of Trey Young. Great shooter, bit small for his position, uh, but can shoot the lights out. Akura, freshman from Texas. Okay, so this looks like a Mo Bamba stereotype, or not stereotype, but prototype. Long, can guard all the positions. There's Mo Bamba. Devin Burke. Okay, combo guard, undersized wing. Uh, possibly Colin Sexton type, Arizona. Or that could be even Alonzo Trier. Uh, Kozlov, he looks 20-year-old, uh, can shoot the ball. Okay, so possibly a lesser version of Nikola Jokic. And Michael. Uh, stretch four, possibly in the mold of maybe a TJ Leaf or someone. Okay, so how many do we get to pick? I think we're going to go with Kavanaugh because he fits our scheme very well. Wow, look at those stats for Galtieri. Kavanaugh, and can we do multiple? Prince Patterson as well, but can we do like four of them? No, we can only do two. Yeah, so we're going to go with the two wings, Prince Patterson and Kyle Kavanaugh. Wait, what? Yeah, there. okay, there we go. So we're able to pick them. Against the Wizards, Clint Capella dominated, but we were not able to pick up the victory. Rondo uh, did okay. But is Josh Hart back? Not yet. He's coming back very soon. So if anything, I'll probably just keep him in off the bench as our sixth man. Okay, uh, what's up, Lenny? Okay, so there we go. Josh Hart has recovered. So let's have the coach handle this just to get his morale up, and then we'll go in and change it ourselves. So there we go, Josh Hart as the sixth man for now.